The laparoscopic cholecystectomy is one of the most common operations undertaken in the Western world. The main indication for a lap coli is symptomatic gallstones. Sometimes gallstones pass from the gallbladder into the common bile duct. Patients requiring gallbladder surgery are assessed for their risk of having bile duct stones. Assessments are made with liver function tests and an ultrasound. If the risk is high, further tests to look for bile duct stones are usually necessary and most often the test is an MRCP. If the risk is moderate or low, it's uncertain whether these tests are necessary. Because of this uncertainty, some surgeons choose to perform tests and some don't. There are various advantages and disadvantages of testing for bile duct stones in patients with a low or moderate risk. An MRCP may detect the bile duct stones that could become a problem. These stones can then be removed by an ERCP. Performing an MRCP reduces the risk of bile duct stones going undetected and causing potential problems after the lap coli. However, bile duct stones often pass safely and spontaneously into the bowel, meaning the ERCP to remove them will have been unnecessary. As with any procedure, there can be complications. For some patients, the MRCP or ELCP may mean waiting longer for their surgery, as well as an additional hospital visit. There's also the associated costs of an MRCP. The aim of the sunflower study is to find out if testing for common bile duct stones with an MRCP before lap coli is worthwhile in patients with a low or moderate risk of common bile duct stones. Sunflower is a multi-centre, pragmatic, randomised controlled trial. And we need to recruit 13,680 patients from 50 centres around the UK. Eligible patients will be randomised in a one-third to two-third ratio to receive an MRCP for expectant management prior to their lap coding. The primary outcome is measured up to 18 months post-randomisation. It's a combination of hospital admissions for the treatment of complications of gallstones, any complications during admission for lap coli, and any complications during ERCP for the treatment of gallstones. The primary outcome is collected using routine sources such as NHS Digital, making this large trial very efficient. There are clearly laid out inclusion criteria for the study. These are based on the results of imaging and blood tests, as well as patient characteristics and medical history. These criteria will be provided to all recruiting sites. Patients can be identified from elective settings as well as those presenting as an emergency to the surgical team. When you discuss sunflower with potential participants, you should first reassure patients that they'll be treated for their gallbladder symptoms. Tell your patient that there's uncertainty about whether or not to test for bile duct stones. It's important to reiterate that some doctors do test their patients and some doctors don't, but both options are considered to be standard routine care. If you'd like to get involved or find out more, you can visit us at cteu.briz.ac.uk forward slash sunflower or you can tweet us at sunflower study. Thank you for watching.